I don't think there's any difference. I mean, what the, the, uh, the time that physicists deal with is essentially the same as ordinary time, except that physicists think of, of, of microseconds or picoseconds instead of just seconds. That means millionths of a second or tri trillionths of a second. So they can act, the physicists can think of very short intervals of time. But that doesn't really make much difference to ordinary life. I think much, I mean, much more b b big changes in our thinking are, are coming along with the biology rather than with physics. When biology advances, then we think differently about ourselves. And that really does make a difference. I mean, for example, at the moment, the most rapid movement in biology is neurology. We're learning how to study our brains and to, to take moving pictures of, of brains with magnetic fields. So you can actually see things going on in our own heads when we're thinking. And that's going to change the way we think about ourselves, I think, in a much more fundamental way. Well, I can't say I'd talk about it in depth, but uh, it's true that quantum mechanics makes atoms unpredictable. I mean, the, 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 that was the big surprise, that when you understand atoms, it turns out you absolutely cannot predict what they're going to do. That the, the, the laws are... are just don't 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 allow exact predictions. It's there's a, 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 cert, a certain kind of freedom that atoms have to jump around, and they they seem to choose entirely on their own without any input from the outside. So in a certain sense, atoms have free will. So that, uh, to my mind at least, it's uh, probably connected with the fact that we have free will. We have at least a strong feeling when we decide to move a hand up and down that we're free to do it or not. And uh, so it could be that we are actually using the freedom that quantum mechanics allows. So the brain is a kind of an amplifier which takes, takes the freedom of movement of atoms and translates it into freedom of movement of our whole body so that's at least my feeling about it. And we don't understand it in detail, but it looks as though there is a connection. Well, the human mind is just a sort of a, <laughs> a clever device for, for using this freedom in order to achieve some kind of a purpose. And... Uh, and, and of course, any, animals in general do that. And humans have reached the point of being aware of what they're doing. Mm -hmm.